Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. In this session, we will discuss about the CLI mode of JMeter, which is the actual performance that we do with respect to the JMeter. So while executing from the graphical user interface, there are a lot many issues, but while executing via CLI mode or a command line mode, the performance testing will be performed accurately. So we'll start that in this session. So if you are new to this session, do watch my earlier session so that you will understand this session. So let's get started. So what is a CLI mode and what is a GUI mode? So what are the problems in the GUI mode? So the problem which occurs on the JMeter GUI mode is when we do an actual performance test, our GUI mode stops working or JMeter UI is not capable of handling that much user load or running parallel test in the GUI mode. So where it tends to not respond or it will break or it will crash where again you have to rerun your entire test by refreshing all the resources. So this will be a headache for a while doing a actual performance test. So the better option is the CLI mode, which is a command line mode where we will have to run our entire JMeter using a single command line and that we will discuss now. So how we can run in the CLI mode. So for that you have to install the JMeter then you have a test plan and your JMeter tests are correctly working in the GUI mode. So GUI mode is used to develop your test plan or test project for the performance test but not for the execution of your performance test. For execution of the testing you have to always rely on the CLI mode. So now I will open a command prompt in the Windows system. If you are on the Mac, you have to open the terminal. And here I need to navigate to my JMeter bin directory. Uh, user location, I have to navigate to the, the bin directory. So for that, this is my bin directory. So I have to go to this console and I am into now my location of JMeter. So first and foremost thing, we have to know the command to run the JMeter in the graphical, uh, non-graphical user interface, which is a CLI mode. JMeter, so JMeter hyphen N. So hyphen N is refers to the non-graphical user interface. So this command we have to give without which our test will not run. So again, in the graphical user interface, what I need to trigger, I need to trigger my test. So for that, I need to use the hyphen T. So hyphen T is used to run or trigger our test JMX files. So where is my JMX file? So JMX file is in the other location. So this is my JMX file. I will drag my JMX file to the CMD window. So this is the project location. So this is the project location in the D directory. Now, again, I need to provide one more action, which is hyphen L iPhone L is referred to the log file. So while executing our JMeter or uh, JMX file, we have to log the stats with respect to that test. So for that, I need to provide hyphen L. Then I need to mention log.csv. So I will hit enter. Now you will see it is running. Now you can see there is a summary is triggered and you can see in the summary there are some information which is showing here. There are some average, uh, some 659 min and 659 max and 659 error. So this is something which is tricky to understand in the CMD. But if you go back to the, the folder where we have dragged our JMX file, there you will find the CSV file created. So this CSV file, if I again expand the all columns, so first and foremost thing we will refer to the, the URLs or the API endpoints. So this is the endpoint. Now you can see the response code is okay, 200. So which means that it has executed correctly and thread name and response message. So later we have bytes and then you have a latency, then you have a connect time. And uh, it is showing elapsed and what else we have send bytes so these these are like couple of items we have discussed in the last session so if you are new to this session do watch my earlier session so that you will understand this terminology or the labels like latency or send bytes receive bytes so all this you will get to know and even further we can do one thing uh, we can go back to our uh, graphical user interface or so gui and there i can uh, right click and add a listener 
so let's example summary so here what i will do i will browse the file so this is a, a csv file i will browse and open here so you can see here it is the same thing that he is in the csv file we have opened from the jmeter where it is difficult to understand right now you can see it is easier to understand now it is a http request with the sampler of one and average time min time max time so all this information it has given so it is not with respect to the only the summary report you can open any report and drag that csv file it will convert and give you or and provide you the understandable report format so that is the advantage of cli mode with respect to the gui mode so hope you understand the commands to run or trigger the jmeter in the graphical user interface and there are also one more command i need to mention so the command is jmeter hyphen h so hyphen h is the action to call the help so when you don't know which one to trigger or which one to you have to provide so this command will provide you the complete information what you have to do so here you can see just last one to run apache jmeter in the server mode you have to do this command and uh, next thing uh, just about to that you can see to tell the apache jmeter to use the proxy server to generate the report from the existing csv file so all this information it has provided so we will see all those step by step later on hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries you can post in my comment box i will help you out thank you for watching